Hey guys, welcome back to Creative Work with. I'm back with a coding video on Scratch. So in this video, we will learn how to make a Mario game. Mario was a game in the game in the old days, and it was a super hit game. So we are gonna make a game similar to it today. So start by deleting the cat sprite and put a good backdrop. I would like to put the blue sky backdrop because. because it will it will give a good old olden days theme so write mario game then move it to the center and then make it big and then put another text here saying use space key to jump so basically what will happen in the game is that the, there is a mario character and uh, balls will come balls will be coming on it and he will have to jump and escape them so uh, you have to, first you have to go to scripts oops first put a bag uh, sprite on the soccer ball you can put any ball but i would like to put the soccer ball and my soccer ball is here i'll make it a bit small i'll put it here and go to data and write make a variable write it name it score and put okay now i will show the score code later now first let's upload the mario sprite so go to google and write a8 bit o old mario character now download this one this one's perfect now i'll just put on save image as i'll put it on my scratch file and make it mario done now go to scratch and press on upload sprite from file and put the mario one now let's make it small more small not too small perfect <laughs> again I, i think i'll make it more small i'm sorry yep now that is perfect so on may on the mario script put when space key pressed then put repeat 10 put four repeat 10 four times like this now go to motion and put change change no change x by here and another change x by here and put two change y's in the rest of the places on the first change y write 20 on the second on the first x write 20 on the second y write minus 20 and on the third x i mean on the second x write minus 20 so what will happen is the character will jump like this and go from here to here so let's test it once perfect oh i have forgot to add another feature put a play sound pop one now it will play a pop sound when it jumps look look perfect now we are done with our mario script this is enough now the ball script so put a when clicked when green flag clicked put a forever block now go to motion and put the go to x block and make the first one 240 and make the y and make the y minus 234 then put a glide glide one and instead of one write 
and in the x place write minus 240 and in the y place you need to write minus 124 now the ball will come it come to it look perfect so it will be like this we might want to shrink the ball you know this is a bit small i mean a bit big for the according to the size of the character now let's see it again now that is that is what i call perfect so we are done with with the ball moving but there is there is two three scripts with the ball so on the forever script only go to data and put change score by one so the score will also change when it completes one whole round look now look at the score one look it changes and to make it more fun no leave that so again put a when clicked when green flag clicked and then put a wait until then go to sensing and put touching one minute touching mario okay wait until touching mario then put uh, stop all then again put a when clicked one then put a wait until then go to sensing and put the touching mouse pointer and again make it mario and then go to looks and say I, I mean put say hello for two seconds instead of two right here 100 i'm making this then the ball will say game over so and 100 seconds i'm putting that much because uh, the player will not wait 100 seconds for the for, to put the start button and it will like the player will put it in maximum five to six seconds so it will stay till it's out so let's try it again okay i think the game is ready now look you have to escape the ball you don't have to touch it now if i touch it everything stops now we'll do it again and look your score changes every time but but you i th but you when the com ball completes one round then only the then only the score changes but if the character doesn't jump the ball can't reach the next round and the score can't change so that's the logic behind every round so i think we are pretty much ready with the game and i and good luck making it so i hope you also make it like mine and it's your choice you can even change the character you can make it any character and even change the background i'm just teaching the basic logic of the script so that's enough for today let's meet in the next video bye stay safe stay home and please subscribe and like please subscribe this channel and like this video bye meet you in the next video